Um, well, welcome everybody to um, our team call tonight, 17th of September. Um, so we're all, most of us, kids are back at school and things are starting to go well. It's, it's already been a better month than the last month for most of us, so very positive. Um, so just keep going this month because it, it does get better in October, November and December are the best months of the year for signing people up and people doing their LRPs, they're really great months. Um, always look forward to the last quarter of the year. A um, couple of announcements. Um, so pretty much the same as last week, but the US convention is this week and starts on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Um, you can purchase a live stream of it. I'll put the link on Silver Blossom if you want to. It's about $50, but you can get the whole convention and it really is worth it. If you want to see some of the others, like Emily and Tim will be walking as Blue Diamond. Um, Vanessa will be walking as Diamond. So if you want to have a watch of them at the recognition, you can see them walk. Um, we've also got Leadership Retreat. Don't forget that. Um, if you want to come, if you're silver and above. Actually, I think it's premium and above you have to be. You have to be premium and above for this one. Um, and also look at the doTERRA on tour dates. I put them on um, Silver Blossom last week, but check out those dates. Uh, we also have a special UK Builders Day on the 30th of November, so save that date. Um, the event by link will be coming up very soon. And the following day is the UK Oil Day. So that's just for, that's for everybody, for customers and everyone um, on December 1st. So if you want to book, book a hotel in Milton Keynes. It'll be in Milton Keynes. It'll be near where, near where the office is. So book a hotel there and do the two days. It's, a, it's a, well worth two days. Um, uh, many of you, so tonight's training will be on um, by Louise, um, and it'll be on why not to worry when people do not enroll um, at classes. Now, often, this happens a lot where people don't enroll at classes um, and it can be it can be annoying, it can be worrying, it, you know, it can be all kinds of things that you go on. I remember when Rebecca was first doing doTERRA for that first six months to a year, maybe not, maybe not a year, that's probably an exaggeration, but six months, sometimes she'd come home and I'd say, how was the class, babe? And she would be like, um, yeah, it was really good. And I'd say, well, how many how many signups did you get? And she'd be like, oh, I, I didn't really get any. And I'd be like, okay, well, why was that? And she'd be like, well, because um, I didn't really tell anyone how they could buy the oils. Um, <laughs> so that's a, <laughs> I think she did that maybe five or six times. Had the same conversation. I was like, well, I kind of need to let them know that they can buy the oils. Um, fundamental really and she agreed but she found it she found it quite hard because she felt it was salesy until she found her way with it um, but even when she didn't she'd have we, she'd have people emailing her and saying can is there a way of buying these oils how do can you purchase them <laughs> so, so she quickly learned that she needed to uh, put it into a class that she needed to share how you could buy the oil um, Louise is going to be discussing with that today and Louise is platinum. She's been with us, um, you know, doing doTERRA from, you know, from the beginning with us really. Um, she knows so much about essential oils and really, li really lives them um, and has done so many classes. She's an expert in it. Um, so Louise, are you on? Yeah. Awesome, Lou. Um, shall I, I'll stop sharing my screen and hand the time over to you. I'm not sure who you're speaking about. <laughs> I'm talking about you, Louise. <laughs> also very humble. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, I'm conscious your time is precious. And um, I've just put some thoughts down in a PowerPoint presentation to hopefully help everybody. And if you get people that don't sign up at a class, it's very, very normal. So feel that you're brilliant because you're normal. <laughs> so what to do when someone doesn't enroll at a class? And my main message is just keep calm and carry on. 
<laughs> um, I'm sure that some of you will have other ideas, so please share them at the end of the presentation. I love learning from other people. Okay, so I kind of liken doTERRA and the people I come in contact with as them being on a journey, and it's my role to help them on this journey. And I see myself as all my interactions, my education, my relationship with them as it's like them coming and filling up their petrol. So every time they come to me, how am I educating them? How am I building relationships? So the analogy is for them to come and fill up at the petrol station. So if you're not on mute, can you mute yourself, please? And we don't hear any background noise. That'd be great. Thank you. So my first thought is about ourselves. What is our self-care like? How are we filling ourselves up? Because we can't give and help others when we're running on empty. So just take a moment this evening to reflect on how you're um, looking after yourself physically, emotionally, mentally, um, and also your personal development. So if you are struggling getting people to, to enroll, maybe ask your upline or a friend to come and watch you teach a class or give you some tips. So try and do everything you can um, to develop yourself to be a better presenter and teacher. Um, so yeah, so what are we doing to improve ourselves but also um, filling up our own self-esteem and development? And then I, I, I share this with my new builders in particular it's so easy on our journeys in doTERRA to start comparing ourselves and it's like being on the motorway trying to overtake a big lorry the, the lanes are so close aren't they and I know that when I start looking to the side I'm beginning to wobble but when I focus on where I'm going where my end journey is and I don't look left or right I can overtake a lorry with more confidence and you can see by this picture, it's so easy. When we compare ourselves, what happens is that we put ourselves down and it becomes a really negative experience. So what I'd like you to see with this picture is, is don't go down that route. Of course, observe others around you and learn from them, um, but don't ever turn it into a negative thing. Okay, so I know, especially at the beginning, when people weren't signing up, I would find excuses, all kind of excuses. <laughs> but we are solution providers for those that we work with. So it should be the same for us in our business. If there's a problem in our um, way of sharing or teaching or running, whatever it is, um, there are solutions to be found. So I want my presentation to be very positive, to give you lots of ideas and to show that there are lots of solutions that we can implement to help us. Um, and to help people enroll at whatever stage they're at. Okay, so Teresa Harding has about 70% of the whole of doTERRA under her. So I love her training. She knows what she's talking about. She has said that 20% of the people that we teach will buy no matter what we do. And we've all had those flat classes and we think, oh, no one's going to buy. And people do. <laughs> And she said that 20% will never buy regardless of what we do. That's really interesting. No matter how amazing we are at teaching and building a relationship, there's still a big chunk of people that will never buy from us. And then 60% of people, these are the ones that we can influence and help and support. So I think it's really key to remember that. And again, in network marketing businesses, they say we need five to eight touches with people before they buy. Um, it's really good to be intentional, to always give value when we interact and work with people. And my husband is in the sales business, the sales world, and he's always saying be genuine with people because they really do respond to that. They can tell when you're being pushy and salesy. The thing which has been the hardest thing for me to learn doing network marketing is to really appreciate that people have their own agency. I want people to do as they're told. <laughs> I want people to enroll when I want them to enroll. But that's not the case. Um, and so I have to respect their agency. I think it's a really important thing um, to, to learn quite early, actually. <laughs> now, we hear all the time that fortune is in the follow-up. 
And I've changed it. Um, I've put the, the blessings are in the relationships. Um, it, I think the greatest joy for me has been working with people in doTERRA and I've made such wonderful friends and these have been people even that I've never enrolled actually but I've come into contact with and have really enriched my life so yeah so I, I love that aspect it's, it's about the relationships that we build so let's go back to the class then so let's say we've taught the class we've come to the end and we just know that some of the people aren't going to enroll for whatever reason. So these are some of the things that I make sure that I do. I make sure that I get at least two ways to contact them, um, whether it's mobile, home number, email, whether their Facebook name, their Instagram account, or their home address. So at least two ways. If I just get one way, maybe their email address is wrong, and then I've lost a way to contact them. So I've got two ways. And I ask them, what is the best way to contact them in the future? Um, I think most people like email, not a lot like phone calls, which is good because I don't like calling people. <laughs> and then I try and commit them to an action. And I'll give you lots of ideas of things that I've done before. I found it's absolutely essential, especially when you've got hundreds and hundreds of people coming to classes who aren't enrolling. Um, you've got to have a contact system in place. So I use Excel, but you can use Sinduit or Legion or just a Word document. There's lots of things out there, but get something that works for you where you can put people's information in. So I put them on a list of people that have come to a class and I use Excel. And then I know who I'm working on. Those that have enrolled, I put them into a different column and I help them move on. And then I split this into people that have come to my local classes. So I do a class in my, in my home once a month. And I do Birmingham workshops once a month. So again, I have a list of those that come to my Birmingham classes that haven't enrolled. So I know who to invite to the next classes, for example. And I also put a comment by the person. So it gives me a reminder, any clues about them, um, so I can remember who came to the class. And I hope this doesn't come across too judgmental, but I try and prioritize that list as well. So someone might come to a class who might think, oh, they'd be a brilliant sharer. They didn't buy at the class, but the potential could be amazing. So they go at the top, because then time is so precious. So I make sure I, I contact those who I think could buy or could be a, a great share in the future. Um, and then I make sure that I add them to my social media pages on Instagram and once upon an oil drop or my groups. So that's a quite a standard thing that I try and do <clears throat> at the end of the class. Now we always get it, don't we? The oils are too expensive. I, I just laugh now. I'm so tired of this. <laughs> and that they cost money. Of course they do. What I found helpful for me is I created a Word document and I listed all the oils in the Home Essential Kit. And I wrote down the wholesale price, I put down the price per drop, I broke it down into how many drops were in the bottle, how you could use them, for what age, how often you can use them, how long the oils last. And then I took something that people would buy from the pharmacy. Um, like cough medicine. I couldn't believe when I researched this how much cough medicine can be. 450 is actually quite a cheap, cheap bottle. <laughs> um, and I've put, you know, that bottle will last nearly four days. And then I've looked at the ingredients, for example, and sugar is the main ingredient in cough medicine. And you have to use it within six months. It's summer, age restricted. Um, you can only use a certain amount of times per day. I love talking to people about Zengest. A lot of people use Pepto-Bismol, like my mum used to do. It's got a spa team in it. And look at all of these side effects. And then again, there are restrictions on when to use it. And there are 222 other drugs that this will interact with in a negative way. So I just casually bring this up with people and I show it to them because it's all about educating them how awful some of the things in our shops and pharmacy can be and, and, and the awful side effects and how cost-effective 
our oils can actually be. So I find that's a really helpful exercise to do with them. I'm quite cheeky now. I say, yep, the oil should be expensive. I'd pay more for them. <laughs> um, but I'm going to very... tomorrow. Pardon? You will as of tomorrow. <laughs> I'm dreading my next class. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't think you'll make any difference. I feel like going halves with people. <laughs> <laughs> but Lou, this is, um, this is amazing. I find it's really helpful and it actually has ignited me when I talk to people about the cost because I get really cross when I see what's in our medications that we can buy and use in the home. So yeah, it's, really it makes me more passionate. It helps to break it all down. And like our oils last indefinitely don't they apart from the citrus ones so you'll always have them at hand so i always um if i see people struggling about the cost i say you know if you see a kit that you'd really like to get save up for it you know you can whenever is right for you and i do get people coming back i, I really do so i'm fine saying that to people and it's emphasizing that they can just buy their members and then just one oil and perhaps one oil the following week and then build up their collection like that. My husband thinks that's a better way to go anyway because when they buy a kit, they've got to get used to all of those oils and don't buy for a while often. So it's just educating people with the different options that they have and enabling them to make the right decision for them. I get people to go home and count up how much they've spent in their medicine cabinet sometimes. But I point out that I don't go to the doctor anymore. I don't get any sick days off work when I used to get them a lot at the hospital. Or do they have a birthday coming up? Could someone buy um, a, a, the, the set as a, a birthday present or a Christmas present for you? And don't be afraid to discuss the cost in a class. Some classes I'll get at the end, someone goes, oh my, expensive. And then I'm like, okay, let's talk about this. Yep, yeah, you're right, they do cost a lot of money. But look at what you can Is it just me or did we lose Lou? <laughs> I can't hear her either, Nathan. I think we lost Lou. Oh no, where's she gone? Oh, she's getting to the good stuff. <laughs> she's having a Kit Kat break. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Gone through a tunnel. I had a meeting with her earlier and this kept happening, so I think it's a signal. Ah, oh, it's a signal. Oh. I thought it was oh. mine to be fair, but obviously it's not. Nah, she's, oh, she's gone, so she'll be coming back in a minute, hopefully. So, well, I think hopefully she'll be sharing that um, document that she's got. That was an amazing document. Oh, she's just calling me. Let me just see. Anyone got a nice song to sing? You volunteered so you could start off the first verse. <laughs> <laughs> no, is it too early for uh, We Wish You a Merry Christmas? That's about all I know. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make anyone cry. <laughs> Nathan's good at singing. Oh, is he? Yeah. Wing beneath my wings, aren't you, Nathan? <laughs> yeah. Her internet's gone down, so she's just trying to figure it out to get it back up. Oh, no. So, yeah, so Jonathan, if you wanted to do that little song, that's great. I hear you're a good singer, apparently, Nathan. <laughs> 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 my father-in-law when we got just before i got married he said lots of volume not much tune that was what he said <laughs> so i can definitely sing loudly i can do that but <laughs> not 
Does anyone have any um, oil experiences this week? I'd love to say I've had some oil experiences. I've healed my um, daughter's ear, but her ear has not been healed yet. Oh, no. Still trying that one. My friend has um, MS, and she's been using a lot of the oils and the um, lifelong vitality. But what she's found is really helping with her mobility and pain is the Kabiba oil. I, I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I say it. There's two ways of saying <laughs> yeah, it, she, Kabiba uh, or Copaiba. Ka, yeah. I think no, Copaiba is the native way of saying it. Copaiba. Copaiba, I think, is the American way of saying but it. Yeah, she's finding even simple tasks like ironing and gardening and things like that um, are a lot easier for her. So that's really positive. Oh, that's oh, right. Right. So sorry. Oh, there's Lou. Hey, Lou. Was Jonathan singing? Did I miss that? Yeah, we were singing songs. I was waiting for you, Louise. <laughs> we're glad okay. you're on, Luke. There were people, there was going to be a, a flipping revolt here if you didn't hear the rest of it. <laughs> Our internet's a bit dodgy. <laughs> okay, so um, the new class in a box is out. I don't know if anyone's had access to this yet, but I love it. Um, it has all the handouts for our class. And it's part of the empowered success training for us now. And what they suggest, um, a lot of people have problems um, getting people to classes. They always drop out. And so what they're suggesting is that in one of the interactions before the class, we ask people, what are their health needs? What are they trying to learn at the class? How can we support them? And then we say, right, I'm going to speak about headaches, especially for you at the class. And then I'd really like to offer a gift for when you get to the class as well. So this gift can be anything like a roller bottle, spray bottle, magazine, a little sample bottle, just anything small and cheap. And so what I've started to do is give people a little handout, a little gift when they come to a class because it bribes people getting them there. They always want a freebie. And then if they don't buy, it gives you another reason to get in contact with them to help support them with the gift that you've given them okay so it's a nice little thing to do now i'm sure we have question questionnaires that we hand out at the end so we often associate people not buying a kit because of the cost but i think it's just as much and um, that people don't feel confident in using the oils and this questionnaire is brilliant because you get to see how people feel about what they've learned in the class a lot of people that I come into contact with have never used essential oils. And then for them to now suddenly embrace it all, it's just quite overwhelming. And this questionnaire often brings up that they've learned something new about the oils, they love the oils, but do they feel confident using them? It's a neutral, they, do. they don't. Um, are they excited? Yes, they are, but it's that confidence thing as you use them as plant-based medicine replacing medications that they feel worried or nervy about. So at the end of a class and I'm um, going around and talking to them, I can see from this questionnaire how they feel, how confident they feel about using the oils. And it's brilliant. Again, you can see what else they'd like to learn as well from the questionnaire. So this is just a typical phrase that I might say as I'm going around. Okay, so what are we working on? Now here I'm expecting to say, yep, I'd like this kit and that kit. But if that doesn't happen, <laughs> I'm looking at their questionnaire and I'm going to say, okay, I can see that you don't feel confident about using essential oils yet. You know, thank you for sharing how you feel. I felt exactly the same when I started, but what I did, I just bought a book and I just started with a few oils at a time and then gradually built up my confidence. And then when you... Um, Listen to them. a lot of network marketing professionals. They always say, use this key phrase, if I were you. And then I might say something like, you know, I might have given them a wild orange and a magazine at the class. So I would say, you know, if I were you, I would go home with your wild orange oil and magazine. I will send you a link about how to use the wild orange oil. And, um, and I want you to start with just that oil. 
How do you feel about that? I will keep in touch with you and you can ask me questions along the way. And then you might say something at the end, you know, if I invited you to come to my next class, would you come? Again, you're trying to commit them to doing something, taking an action. And then something like, I'd love you to bring a friend because when friends get involved, their banter and relationship helps to support each other. So that's, that's a, a good tip as well, I found. So how are we filling up people? Education, education. So um, I always know about four months in advance when my classes are. So if someone comes to a class, I then know that I can say to my next class is a month on Monday, blah, 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 and this is what we're going to be doing. Um, it's great to invite them to other events or webinars coming up or shows that you're doing. They can go and visit you at a show. Um, I let them know at the end of the class what to expect from me. So I'm going to stalk them on Facebook. <laughs> I'm going to send daily emails until they enroll. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'll send them a monthly newsletter, for example. And what I put here is don't rely on one way. Don't just expect a monthly newsletter to do it. When you're using these programs, like I use Sinduit, when you look at who actually opens the newsletter, it's minute. I've got hundreds and hundreds on my contact list and maybe 150 actually open it from their email account. So don't just rely on one way. And, and social media is it's brilliant, but a real pain at the same time. They're very clever, these social media companies. With Instagram, for example, they will only put your post on 30% of your followers' feeds. So 30% might have a chance of seeing what you posted that day. So it's quite a bit of a game. So again, don't just rely on social media. Try a few different ways to keep in touch with people. Now, I have a very simple website that I created because I like to send people to it. So everything's there. I've got a few simple videos about doTERRA and I've done my top 10 ways to use all the, the 10 oils in the Home Essential Kit so they can see different ways to use them. When they see different ideas or different ways to use them, again, it gets Time, Jonathan. <laughs> Keep him in the spot, mate. Come on, come on, Jonathan, it's your time to shine. <laughs> oh, Daniel, Daniel wants to do a duet with you. Daniel, you, Daniel, you stop. Are so... No, let's not do it. Let's not. I love it. I love it. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Hey, right. Let's do a duet. Let, let's. See how quick we can get everyone to leave this Zoom meeting. Summer loving. <laughs> <laughs> so does, um, is everyone um, following what Lou's saying? Again, what she's quite what she's saying is quite powerful, actually. Um, but, uh, there are lots of um, there are lots of ways of communicating with people. Um, it is just best not to rely on one one medium, like Lou's saying, like relying on like emails or just doing social media. That you actually, you know, you do several of them. Um, oh, Lou's back. I'm sorry about this. No, you're fine, Lou. That was that was quick. Yeah. I'll let Lou carry on. Was there some questions about what I was saying? No, not at all. Oh, okay, yeah. So, so basically, if someone's been to a class, just don't put them on a newsletter list that they get monthly. That won't be enough to help support them. Um, so I was just saying how great Calendly is because you spend so much time phoning or emailing or texting. Are you free this time? Should we chat that time? But with Calendly, you email them the link and they can see what time you're free during the week and they can book a time and then the email comes through to you, reminders set as well, and it's, it's just brilliant. It saves a lot of time. And um, Dr. Axe, the handsome Dr. Axe said, the greatest medicine is to teach people how not to need it. 
So again, um, if people aren't sure about using essential oils, it's educating them how they're a much better way to go now. So this is just a typical example of an email I would send after a class to someone that didn't enroll. So again, I'd make it personal. You know, thank you for coming. I love teaching you about the oils and how they've blessed my family. I'm glad you like the chocolates I made. So it's personal. You might add a little funny comment so that you know that they remember who you are. And then I sent you home the world's orange oil to try. So here's the link. I'd have a link for them to see more recipes and ways to use it. Um, my favorite way to use it is this, is this. And I would have already spoken to them about when to follow up. So I will call you in a couple of weeks like we discussed to see how you're getting on with it. So they know what to expect. And I think when you book appointments like that, they take you seriously. They know that you're concerned about them and want to support them. Um, and then I'll share a few videos, there's some brilliant videos that doTERRA do. And again, my next class dates are, we love you to see you, bring a friend. I look forward to supporting you. So it's just an example of something that I might say after the class. Okay, some more things that you could send in an email or put on Facebook. Um, so maybe they were asking questions about cleaning with the oils. So you could send them some blog posts from the doTERRA website about cleaning with the oils to make it relevant. I love the co-impact sourcing videos that doTERRA do. I love sending the frankincense one to people. Any news and updates about doTERRA, like the convention coming up, would be a great thing to send to people. <laughs> Um, so webinar links, so Empowered Life on doTERRA.com have some fantastic webinars from all the professionals about women's health and you know, children, pregnancy. So you can again send them a link of something to watch that would mean something to them. Um, I've started doing continued education classes for my team and our customers that are just half an hour long. And then I send the recording to people that haven't been, um, haven't come to a class and enrolled, for example. It's another way to show that when they enroll, they are going to be given all this extra education and support. Now, conventions coming up. So I know some people are arranging little parties in their home where people can come and watch some of the sessions. It's a great way to share doTERRA and to keep in touch and build that relationship with people. Um, yeah, invite people back into your home just casually for lunch. Oh, good. I was really, I really wanted to take over from Lou there. So that was a great point. Okay. Um, um, it, it can take eight touches, I think it is, before somebody actually considers buying. So if if you first of all, let's say you talk to a mum in the school school ground first time so that's one touch second time you invite them to a class that's two touches if they then come to a class on the third touch they, and they buy on that third touch that's that's amazing the likelihood is is that they're not going to buy on that touch that they're going to then need another touch and another touch before they then buy so if you keep on doing what lou's saying is if people don't enroll at your classes um it's probably because they haven't had enough touches or they might need a few more touches with the oils like Lou's saying they haven't they're unsure how to use the oils it's not just because they don't have the money for the oils um a lot of the time sometimes it is but most of the time it isn't it's because they don't quite understand how to use them or the power of them so having continued touches um is very very powerful um so you know Lou's saying is you know you can do continued education classes the more you build a relationship with people, then the easier it is and the more they trust you to be able to go, yes, these oils, these oils are good. Um, I know most people that we come in contact with, it definitely takes quite a few touches to share the oils. So the whole point of this message today is if people don't purchase from your class, well, keep in touch with them. Keep sharing the oils and keep bringing along. Some people might take 20 touches before they um, uh, purchase the oils or start the thing. But also you want to be keeping in touch with people that have already bought the oils so they continually 
use the oils and and go on to LRP. But they're also educated, like Dr. Axe was saying there, the best medicine is to teach them how to not need the medicine. Um, and they can teach, you know, that's very powerful because they are going to want to share that with everybody. And, and the oils are about sharing a natural, holistic way of using um, natural medicine um, for everybody. Um, that's what I wanted to say. So, Lou, you should come back on now. Um, Hey, that's brilliant. That's Sorry, John, I've got to sing every time I close down. <laughs> okay, can you see that? I'm so sorry, this has never happened before. Maybe I'm not supposed to speak. <laughs> no, it's seamless, Lou. It's seamless, Lou. It's like I needed to talk at that moment in time. So, oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, and then I stopped just as you come on, so it's perfect. Perfect, then. Okay. There's some lovely little YouTubes that you can attach into any offers in Virgo week, things going on as well. Um, and then another idea is to let them borrow one of the lovely books that we have at the Modern Essentials book and give them a sample to try one of the recipes in the book. That's another way that you can help support them and educate them. Um, Sometimes, no matter what we do, they won't enroll. But I found that, um, <laughs> so just this last week, I had someone um, last week who was referred to me by a friend, a dear friend, that had come to a class, had some great oil samples. She bought the Essential Life book, should it be a no-brainer, but she doesn't feel essential oils are right for her. But she has referred somebody else. So although she's not bought them herself, she's referred someone else. So keep that in mind as well. You can always tap into people's networks and friendship groups, even though they themselves haven't bought. And you can ask them if they would like to host a class again and so on. And then if, if money is an issue, you can get them to host a class themselves and use the commissions to help towards a kit for them. That's a nice thing to do. Um, I um, don't go to the post office anymore. It takes up so much time. It's really hard with a two and a half year old trying to take everything off the shelves. So I do online posting. I don't know if, you've, if you know about that, but you can just Google online posting and you can weigh your parcel and then print off the stamp and address. So it just saves so much time. So when you're sending out lots of samples and things, I just think it's, it works really well for me. So again, even though you might have sampled them initially before the class, I think it's absolutely fine to keep sampling them. Obviously, you can tell if someone really isn't interested, but if you see there's a glimmer of hope and they potentially could join doTERRA, then keep working with them. Um, so I've sent magazines to people. I remember one year there was an art, um, a recipe of a foot rub with peppermint oil. So I sent that out to some people saying, you know, try this recipe. So it wasn't linked to an ailment. It was just a really nice recipe to try in their home. Um, and again, so I, I try and do a themed class. So we've just done... <laughs> in September so again I would send I might send them home that gives me an idol of work again what you could do is give them an example of a spa recipe with some oils to try for them to use in their spa or place of work. So it's not always about them. They might not buy for them, but they, they buy for other people. So keep that in mind as well. I put trust in the timing. Um, sometimes it could be quite unnerving letting people go without buying and you think, oh, you've failed, you've lost the opportunity. But trust just trust people that many, not all, but many will come back and buy when it's right for them. 
even if it's a year or two later, I've had people do that. <laughs> Um, and they do come back if they don't feel pressured. If you just empower them to make a choice when it's right for them, they'll come back. And the more likely to refer you to friends or to host a class if they've not felt pressured to buy. And life happens for people. We know that ourselves, don't we? So just give people time. If it, if it goes quiet for a while, just keep in touch. People will say to me, oh, thanks for not forgetting about me or not dropping me. I've just been so busy or this happened or that happened. So they do appreciate it when you still keep in touch with them. So yeah, I've had comments such as, I liked how you weren't pushy or salesy and gave me time to make the right decision. And I've put don't overthink, don't overanalyze things. Just keep busy, move on to the next class move on to how you can support people. Um, listen to your intuition. So I, th I think the general gist of what I do is I'll, I'll maybe do a show, for example, as I've got a long list of contacts. They'll come to classes, hopefully, some of them. And then I've got lots that I need to work on. So I spend a good three months doing as much as I can, using all the different ways I can to contact them, get in touch with them, send them samples, um, and building that relationship. If I've had nothing from somebody for three months, then I'll just put them on um, a newsletter list or something like that. Um, you've got to be cautious about your time because um, then you're working on your new list of contacts. But every now and then, every other month, I keep going back to lists and names and I just scroll through and sometimes a name will jump out. And I'll think, oh, let's contact that person again. So, you know, listen to your intuition. I did, the, I did it this week, and someone that was sharing from me last year has lit and, and dropped quite soon, it was just too much, has literally um, pulled out of uni and wants to start sharing doTERRA again. And I wouldn't have known that without contacting her. So, yeah, listen to your intuition. It will help guide you to know who to contact randomly. So again, another way to keep in touch is offer acts of service, like the aroma touch or symphony of cells, a hand massage. Maybe you want to offer a free oil as a birthday gift or Christmas gift. Um, it's a lovely gesture, isn't it? And I've put no one to stop discussing doTERRA. <laughs> I'd be an absolute freak <laughs> and lose all your friends. <laughs> and just accept that it's not right for everybody or at this time. So still be friends and be genuine with people. Okay. Um, so my final thought, this is one of my husband's favorite phrases, always exceed people's expectations. Always be really generous with your time, your friendship, and, and your samples. I mean, obviously be wise, but um, people generally do respond to that. And relationships are more important than sales. And those, in my opinion, this is my experience, those I've had to work harder for and build that relationship have often been my more loyal customers who go on to LRP, who come back and want to be sharers and builders as well. So four out of my five frontline builders um, I've had to keep in touch, develop relationships or teach at a class and they didn't enroll at the class and only eight months later did they enroll and a year later they wanted to share the oil. So it's not a um, quick overnight business at all, even with relationships. It takes a lot of effort and hard work, but it does pay back. And so if we think about this final destination, destination on everyone's journey what is it that we hope to achieve for everyone that I come into contact with I hope that I leave them with a good impression of doTERRA some people will never buy or enroll from me and that's absolutely fine it's their choice and I respect that but I still want them to have a good opinion of doTERRA um, at the end of the journey I've created friends for life whether they're customers or my builders I have loyal and confident customers I would have helped to change people's lives and, and people would be embracing oils in their home and changing their lifestyles and, and, and hopefully um, got more shares and builders in the process. So I hope that's given you a few 
for things to think about. Um, are there any questions at all from anybody? Mm -hmm. So basically, yeah, enjoy the journey. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. That was amazing. Very, very insightful. It can, it's something that um, everyone has to deal with. Everybody has people, has classes where nobody buys at. Every yeah. single person. Um, yeah. So it's really good. We did have one thing. Would you be happy to share that, um, that wonderful sheet, Louise? The, the one about the pharmaceutical thing? Yes. Oh, the, um, maybe, maybe. Shall I put a charge on it? <laughs> you should, you should either just, do that or you should monetize it. Because, oh, <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I was thinking about this. I knew people had asked for it because they have before. And um, I'd like to say I would, and I'm sure I would, but I think there's a great value in doing at least some of the oils and medications yourself because you learn so much in the process um, so maybe maybe next week I could launch it and, and put it on the, the Facebook page but in the meantime your action would be to choose one oil from your kit and then what would people buy at the instead of the oil and then work out cost per drop. I mean, I mean lemon's an easy one, isn't it? It's four p a drop. A lemon costs thirty p in the shops. People squeeze half a lemon in their water every morning. So cost wise, it's a no brainer. So, um, so yeah, I'm happy to launch it in a week. But I think the real value comes in the research yourself as well. So I would challenge everyone just to try that with one oil. Deep blue is going to be more expensive, and I'm honest about that and frankincense. But when you look at how like a fifth of Americans die from side effects of pain medication or those addictions, you know, you know, our deep blue should be expensive. You know, so they're not always cheaper. That makes sense. What you should do instead? But they're more worth it in the long run. You should do. Oh the yeah. What would you do, Nath? You should do the sheet with some blank spaces. You know, if, you know people just like a little workshop. <laughs> See the teacher. No, I'm more than happy to share. Thing. I just think it's a, it's a great, yeah. There's a great journey in doing it, and it really our medicines. So yeah, but it is helpful to share with people to break it down, yeah, especially really. with the kits going up. So yeah, it's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, Heather's just saying that I, her and Lindsay did a class in bribed. Sorry, Lou. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I couldn't hear. Oh, we missed that one. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, no, nothing. Oh, okay. oh, I can be bribed, I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, she, uh, Heather's saying that Lindsay and her did a class in Flitwick and nobody signed up, and someone Two months later, bought a kit for their birthday in May. She has just come back in September for the 200 PV offer. So some time and a little bit of gentle contact. Yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah. I had a lady come to the Northampton event a couple of years ago. And those days are amazing, aren't they? And she That's still really didn't buy after that event. And it wasn't until that offer came up where you got a free balance and serenity and citrus bliss that she bought because she saw the value of the offer. So yeah, you can touch people. But yeah, have the time I like it on. It took yeah. me a good 18 months to get to your class, didn't it, Louise? Yeah. And, and the someone's... Ah, oh, she was just about to reply to you, sir, and then she's oh, gone. No. She's about to say, oh, yeah. So oh, it was the most amazing one I've ever had. Yeah, it was something not so lovely. You were worth it. Look at on my friend. <laughs> she's saying you're the best builder that I've ever had. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Presidential diamond in the making. 
Oh, absolutely. <laughs> can you hear me? We can now. <laughs> That's the thing. Well, yeah, this LL and Kimmer. Yeah, people get more about <laughs> and it's just a way of experience by one points. Have I frozen? Yeah, you have, Lou. <laughs> well, thank you very yeah. much, Lou. We'll end it there because it's going in and out, in and out, in and out. So we're not quite catching you. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so much. Thanks everyone for coming on. And if you can, check out the live stream of convention. Um, it's going to be awesome. I think there's like loads of new products being launched, um, which we'll see sometime soon. So it won't be quick when we see them. So. I don't expect that, but um, it will be. We will get them next year sometime. Um, so, and there's some other things coming on too. So, have a look for that. Bye, right, guys. Have a good week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.